The photo I've done about video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you styles and also how you can combine the styles. Now, this is a free version of the Photo Donut application. You find it on the photodonut.com website. And there's a whole range of it. It's really pretty good, even in the free version. You've got a whole range of chalk, charcoal. You can just select them, paintings, and you can just select each category. And you can see that here, brown illustration. Just kind of select that one. And what you can do, and some of these, obviously quite a few have got settings as well. So you've got the style, you've got the settings over here. So you can just select it over here, go over here to the settings. Now you'll also notice there's effects layers. Just gonna talk about that in a few seconds. So just there's options over here to change the width. So you can just tweak it. Some are quite slow, well, not instantaneous anyway. This one's fairly fast. And you can modify the brush length and blend in and change the seed as well as various markers and things you can just click on that and just select one of those click OK and you can see that modifies the effect now got styles photo donut styles what we can also do you can just go over here to effect layers and you can see every time I actually click one of these I'm just going to go to another one so brown red so I just click there and brown red you can see the obviously new settings there but you've also got brown and red there. Now, what you can do, and this is obviously is slightly a slow one, you can see it took a bit of time, more time to process. So I'm just going to go back to that one. Now, once that's actually done that, you can add another effect layer. And you just go down there, add a new layer. There's other options, obviously, delete, and you can flatten layers, duplicate layers, add layer mask. So there's a whole range of other things you can do with layers. You don't have to. So just click there, and then you've got another layer. So what you can do, you can apply effects to that. So now I'm just going to go for oh black. I mean, obviously I could use any of the other ones as well. So you've got now that effect and that effect. Obviously at this moment it's on top of the other one, so you, you can't see the actual result of that one. But you can because you can actually go now to blend and you've got multiply and you can see the resulting effect below and you go for obviously difference and pin light and so on and so on. So there's a whole range of different effects. You can also modify the actual so let me change that slightly so you can see more of the brown illustration. Black and, yeah. Okay. So that's just a real quick run through for photo donut styles. Once you've obviously done that, you can just go over here in this lovely sort of donut design, obviously just to there, and you can, so you've got pro there, you've got open, and then you've got save. So you just quickly click that, and, and that's it. You can save it, and you can use the image, obviously in other applications such as Photoshop. There's also a plugin that comes with the uh, photo donut that works actually in Photoshop as well. That's pretty good as well. So, but this I actually prefer to work with the separate application, just develop it there, save the file, and then use it in Photoshop later. Obviously, it depends what you want to do. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.